All right, guys, welcome back to my let's play of Clock Tower, our March special, where we left off. We just encountered Scissorman playing as Helen. We are playing Helen's scenario. We got done the first scenario where we encountered Scissorman. We escaped, and Gods is losing his mind. Anyway, let's continue talking. Um, so we have to just talk to Jennifer here, so let's start talking. Helen. It's all right, Jennifer. Let's keep looking for more clues about Scissor Man. If we don't do something ourselves, he'll probably kill us. No need for sarcasm, Teach. I really do want to believe your story, you know. Was it the real Scissor Man? Yes, but I don't know if it was the same one who attacked you before. But he sure didn't look human to me. Well, shall we go? Okay. All right, so. We're back in the overworld map. Somehow, I must find a clue about Scissorman. So we need to look around, as usual, check everything out. So let's just go back to the police station here. I wonder if there's any news. See what we can find in, you know, the police station. Gots doesn't seem to be here. Okay, fine. Gots does not got this. Alright, let's go to the newspaper. No reason to go to the newspaper office. Okay, how about the hotel? I wonder if Edward is there. Oh, there's Kay. Hi, Kay. Helen, I heard that you were attacked by Scissorman. Yes, I was. I don't know if he was the same one as in the clock tower case, though. Maybe he will go after Edward, too. Where is Edward? I think he is in the library. He seems to like it there. I'll go there and check on him then. Would you? Please tell him to come back soon. Oh, of course, Kay. Not doing your guardianship duties. Just leaving it to somebody else. Typical Kay. I was going to say Helen. Because, well, I guess Helen's letting Jennifer run around doing who knows what, too. The Metropolitan Library. I wonder if Professor Sullivan is there. Oh, let's talk to the librarian. Excuse me, is Mr. Sullivan here? No, he hasn't come back yet. Oh, I see. Okay. So, let's go to the university. Actually, let's go here first. Let's go to the housing. The house is surrounded by reporters. I shouldn't go anywhere near there now. Okay, fine, we'll go to the university. The investigation of the scene seems to be over. So why are they at the building? Like, the housing? That's a little weird. Okay, so let's talk to Beth here. Helen, are you alright? Yes, but more importantly, can we use the... room now? Yes, but we couldn't get in all morning because of... the investigation. Okay. By the way, Beth, I'd like to take a look at the statue. You mean the one they found at the scene of the clock tower murders? Right. I think Professor Barton had it. Well, he did, but I think he asked someone to take a look at it. It's not here. No, and Professor Barton isn't either. He's away on some police business. Darn, I wanted to look at the statue because I was hoping it would give me a clue about Scissorman. Did he tell you where he was taking it? I think he said he would either take it to the library or to a man named Rick. If he took it to the library, that would be Mr. Sullivan. But who is Rick? I don't know. All right, I'll go over to the library. I'll call Mr. Sullivan. Thanks. 
oh, we're not going to go right, you know, there right away. Let's not make haste. I, I want to talk to Gots. Oh, yes. I will ask Gots about Rick. See? Good thing we went to Gots. He should be there, shouldn't he? Oh, he is. Let's talk to Gots. Got any new info, Teach? Do you know a man named Rick? Rick? That sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. He's the old geezer that used to be the... Butler for the Barrows family. The Barrows family of the Clock Tower case. That would mean he... Well, he quit ten years ago before it all happened. I went to see him once, but he didn't know anything about the case. But anyways, what about him? Well, Professor Barden might have given the statue to... Him. The statue? What for? A statue just might be the key to the secret of Scissor Man. I think Professor Barden wanted him to look at it. <laughs> I see. And since you believe in Scissor Man, you want to get your hands on it too. Well, if you want to put it that way. Well, we ain't got any other leads, do we? I can go and get it. You will? All I have to do is talk to Rick and get the statue. Right? Yeah, right, yeah. Nothing to it. Yes, but... As Gots. Yes, let's ask Gots. He's got this. Would you? Sure, I'll go now. Please be careful. Plus you can see why I like Gots so much. All right, I see. Is that how it was? Yeah, if you know something, Gramps, tell me. Right now, I'm looking for a clue, any clue. Hmm. Mr. Gotts, do you know the castle called Barrow's Castle? Barrow's Castle. Yes, it is a castle in England. Then, before the Barrow's family moved, yes. That is what I have heard, over 80 years ago. So what's up with the castle? A monster was once born there that terrorized the... local children. How's that? That'd be Scissorman. I ought, had always thought it was a fairy tale. Well, what happened to the monster? He was killed by his father. His father was the head of the household of the 13th generation of Barrows. So the old man killed his own son. Listen, Gramps, do you know where the castle is? Give me a moment, please. I am sure that somewhere there is... Oh no, it's Scissor Man. Okay, let's run here. Let's, let's, let's get out of here. As yeah, Scissor Man slowly moves to our direction. But yeah, random dog tack. Alright, we, we need a weapon. I know which weapon to grab, of course. We're gonna go for this item here. We're gonna fight him with an umbrella. We got the scissors versus umbrellas. I think we can beat him. Defeat his giant pair of scissors. Thank you. 
There we go. See? Umbrella does beat scissors. Okay, well, let's look around here. Let's go up here first. Let's check this room. Since we're upstairs, we might as well check upstairs. Okay, what's so special about this room? Just garbage. Okay, it's just pure garbage. What's this? A neatly made bed. Looks just like a hotel bed. I'm gonna guess this is the butler's room. Oh, we can go through here. And we are, okay. Oh, we got a cute little patio here. This is adorable. Oh, it appears to be locked. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go back in. Okay, let's check out this closet here. A closet. There's a gown hanging inside. Huh. I guess he wears a gown when he goes to the bed. Huh. Okay, let's check out this room here. Oh, oh no. What is this man doing here? I guess he's watching cartoons. Oh no, how are we gonna evade Scissor Man? How are we gonna evade him while well, he's watching cartoons? I don't think he's gonna really move. Apparently, he's chasing us right now. I have the perfect solution, guys. His ultimate weakness. His huge ultimate weakness. The bed sheet. How effective is this towards Scissor Man? Super effective. That's right, Scissor Man is not only weak against fire extinguishers, bathrooms, umbrellas, he is weak against blankets too. Neatly made, laid out blankets. Okay, let's go around this room. Cut on newspaper articles are lying on the table. They're all about what happened yesterday. Ah, beep, that all geezer must have known. Something. Check out the flyer or flowers, not flyers. Looks like a flower vase. Okay, let's check out the couch. A relaxing, stylish pattern. Okay, let's look at the TV. An old television set. Okay, what about the chair? A rather comfortable looking rocking chair. Painting by a famous artist. Okay, what about this one here? This picture, it's a bit crooked. What? Something is written on the back. I found it, the location of the barrels. Castle. You now have confirmed the location of the barrows. Castle. Cool, okay. Let's check out the fireplace. There are many mystery novels. Hey, I've read this one. Alright, let's open the door here. Cool. Well, let's go out. Seems like there's nothing else to look at in that room, I don't think. And I guess we'll go downstairs. So far, we haven't found the statue. We did find the location of the Barrow's you know, castle, which is a good thing. I 
Well, let's head downstairs. Oh, we can look at this. I saw it right there. Ah, the lights are out. Are they really? I guess so. Oh, we can click on this. An umbrella stand. Okay, how about we can leave? Let's try leaving. It simply will not open. Beep, he's locked me in and he's taking his time to kill me. Oh no, we found a bunch of his weaknesses, you know. We could use them again. Pictures. Ain't interested. Alright, if you're not interested. Oh, how about this? Oh, we can't go get that. Okay, we're done here. Let's smoke around in the main area. Um. Oh, we can look at that. We can go through this door, too. A full cocktail cabinet. <laughs> just, just help myself to a drink. Whoa. I, I guess that was pretty potent, then? Inside, there was a row of coffee cups. Okay. Let's look at the chairs and that, I guess. A sofa. A relaxed design that matches the room. Nothing seems strange. A sofa. Okay, we already got the sofa. Let's go get the stand here. I think this would be just in the way. Okay. Uh, let's go with this door first. Let's check out this one here. The kitchen. Alright, let's see if we can find anything in here. A trash can. Okay, that's that's good. Something is written. You have discovered hint number eight. Cool. Okay. Let's check out the table. A tablecloth is covering the table. Okay. Let's go at that picture and we'll look at this weird shape thing here. Rick's signature is at the bottom of the painting. That old geezer was pretty good. Okay, let's go at this thing. A wooden mask. Probably a souvenir from Africa or something. Or somewhere. Oh! Oh no, it's Spook Fetty! Spook Fetty! Oh, so scary! Okay, we killed it. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> there is a cooking utensil inside. This can't be used as a weapon. Well, maybe you shouldn't use all your ammo gods. Jeez. A microwave oven. There is something inside wrapped in foil. Okay, what is it? I guess we can't tell. I'm gonna guess it's Scissor Man's dinner, maybe? Who knows? Uh, let's go over here. A sink. It is clean and in order. I wish my old lady could see this. <laughs> oh, fire. Oh, fire. There is some garbage in it. What's this? What is this? different colored flooring here. I'm assuming it's a little, like, hidden. The pantry. Oh, it's the pantry. There's a small open space. Okay, well, we're done in the kitchen. Let's, let's go to the other side here. There was those doors over here. Okay, well, let's let's check out door number one. Looks like we got about two, three more, three doors to enter after this one. Huh. Well, looks kind of dark in here. Let's check out this first. Oh, 
Only toilet trees. Okay, can we use the washroom? This ain't no time to take a leak. Well, if you gotta go, gods, you gotta go. Jeez. Uh, let's check out this first. There are some towels. Anything else? Nope, touch towels. Although there's a particular spot if we can click up here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Let's check out... Can we go in here? Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, we can we can click on this. The shower. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Let's get out of this room. Let's go check out the other room. Uh, let's check out this. Oh, actually, that's there's no doors there. There's just tiny little slits. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay. What's this room here? It looks like a laundry room. It looks very similar to the bathroom. There is some detergent on the shelf. This could be used to blind someone. We have powder soap. Cool, we can use it against Scissor Man. I guess. A washing machine. It is full of water. Okay, what about the basket? Can we go get the basket? I guess not. Uh, is there a... Okay, what else? Oh, 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 I can hit the light switch. There we go, we can see things now. Let's enter this room here. Alright, let's look around here. That we, we got what? We got a box. There's a box here. There's some laundry inside. Okay. What about this? The cupboard is full of canned salmon. Why why so much canned salmon? A chest that is no longer being used. What a waste. This chest ca can still be used. Okay, well, I'm guessing we are done in here. Um, let's go outside, I guess. The old man is in there. Like, not in there. Outside. Maybe the statue is still on his body? Maybe. You know, I'm gonna guess Scissor Man just gave up on his search for us. We haven't seen him at all. He must have been like, screw it. He knows too many of my weaknesses. We just need to piss on out of here. Oh, we're going outside. Oh, we're going outside. Hi, puppy. Where'd the body go? Body just, just, just disappeared here. Um. Okay, what do we do? I guess we can approach the puppy. No, I guess not. Oops. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Oops. Let's continue. We only have one item to use against the dog. Only one item. We have the powder soap. I guess... I guess we use it on him. And there goes Gots. Bye, Gots. He totally got this. And now, without knowing the whereabouts of the statue, it was over. There was no way for us to escape from Scissor Man. Jennifer? Jennifer? Jennifer, are you asleep already? <gasps> Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer, hold on. Well, that just sucked. You know, okay, I, I, I can't, you know. Like I said, I've played this game before. So this is what happens when you don't go to the area that the statue was sent to. Um, Barton's decision at the beginning of where, what do you need, like, if you ask, um, 
oh, what's his name? Harris to send to talk to Rick or not factors in this scenario specifically because you have to remember where it was sent. Because if you go to the wrong get wait, wrong area, you're gonna get this ending. Um, so you really have to remember where you put where you sent that statue. This is what happens when you don't remember where you put the statue. So we're just gonna skip the credits here. We're gonna see this plenty of times. So we got ending rank E and survivors unidentified. Sister Man just went on a killing spree and shing shinged everybody. So, with that all said and done, let's kind of do a little bit of backtracking, shall we? So let's load the data. I'm going to kind of do some skipping here, guys. Just because we know this part. We, we know what happened here. So let's do a little skipping. Alright, guys. We are back. So, what do I need to do here? Well, we don't say yes. We don't ask Gots because we know the statue is at the museum. Unfortunately, we you know, Gots doesn't got this, unfortunately. So we're going to say no. We're going to flat out say no, Gots. We know where the statue is. We're going to go to the museum. Thank you for your offering, Mr. But Mr. Sullivan is at the library. May have it. If he doesn't, I'll give you a call. Okay, no problem. Just let me know as soon as you need me. And there we go. We are on the right path now. As we're doing a scenario two with Edward. All right, so we're in control of Helen once again, but before I, you know, start the scenario, different path than God's, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying my Let's Play Clock Tower 2, or Clock Tower here in North America. As usual, do let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, check out my other Let's Plays as well. And with that, you guys have a good day, and I'll see you next episode. Bye!